What's up, everybody out there watching Justin here to do my WWE NXT review for tonight's NXT. What's the date? I think it's uh, August 30th, whatever today's date is. Doesn't really matter. I'll put the date on the video title. The real date. Anyways, maybe you can hear the background. I got the Cruiserweight Classic on it. I can uh, see it from here. I'm going to leave it on for a while so I can hear it. I can see it. Here we go. NXT review. This is the first NXT taping after they taped a few matches for in Brooklyn for NXT TV last week. But they're back at Full Sail doing their taping. Up first, we had a doctor backstage talking to William Regal, saying basically Samoa Joe cannot compete. He's injured, and the doctor tells Regal, who Regal is the GM of NXT, doctor tells him he will not clear Samoa Joe to wrestle or compete anytime soon. So up first, we had the perfect 10, 10, 10, 10, Ty Dillinger. The guy is super over, super over with Full Sail, very over in NXT is Ty Dillinger, the perfect 10. Taking on Buddy Murphy. Found out from Twitter. A couple friends of mine on Twitter. That uh, Buddy Murphy's actually married to Alexa Bliss. Uh, I think they're married. I don't know if that's true. But it probably is true. So Buddy Murphy, you lucky son of a bitch. You are a lucky, lucky man to be with Alexa Bliss. Anyways. Ty Dillinger, Buddy Murphy have a pretty good entertaining match. Ty Dillinger wins. There were a lot of chants during this match. When Buddy Murphy got in the ring, there were chants of one, one, you're a one, you're a one. Funny chants like that. And there were ten chants at Ty Dillinger, he's a ten, stuff like that. Uh, one chance at Murphy, the guy's not a one. I'm not really a fan of his, but the guy's a decent wrestler. He's not a one, but it was a funny chant to do. Ty Dillinger wins with the tiebreaker. One, two, three, Dillinger wins. Good win for him. Hopefully he gets pushed. Hopefully in the future, NXT hopefully gets a TV title. So we will see Ty Dillinger in a TV title tournament. Possibly, I think he should win it. Either him or Austin. He should become that first NXT TV champion. So up next we had Tommaso Ciampa being interviewed by this smoking hot chick. New interviewer backstage in NXT. Her name's Charlie. She is smoking hot. Interviewing Tommaso Ciampa. Then out comes a revival. They attack Ciampa, take him out to the arena, keep attacking him, keep beating him down. Then the Revival throws them on the commentary's table, keep beating them down. Then they get in the ring and attack Champa, keep beating them down. Johnny Gargano is nowhere to be found. I guess the guy was not... He was not on this show. He wasn't there. They were, Champa is claiming he's still... Uh, I guess he's still injured storyline-wise. So Champa was all by himself getting attacked nobody would save him he looked like he was holding his knee in the ring like the revival injured his knee then the revival hit their finisher on champa in the ring left them laid out crowd started chanting psycho killer psycho killer i think at the revival or maybe at champa but i think i don't know who it was at but they were chanting psycho killer for some reason anyways the revival laid champa out cold they beat him down and laid him out up next we had another matchup second match of the night Steve Cutler, former, I think he's in the Marines, or former military guy. I'm sure he's a tough guy because he was in the military. Steve Cutler taking on Kenneth Crawford. Kenneth Crawford, 
pretty good talent. What I've seen of him, the guy looked pretty damn good today. Steve Cutler wins. Uh, I wanted Kenneth Crawford to win, but who really cares? Steve Cutler gets the win. And after that, we have a uh, Hodeo uh, Tommy interview backstage talking about how he uh, GTS Austin Aries at Brooklyn. Then up next we have uh, another match, third match of the show. No Way Jose comes out, gets a pretty great reaction. He's super over with Full Sail. No Way Jose really over. I don't think he'll be over on the, I mean, I don't know if he'll be over on the main roster, but if he goes to the main roster next year, gets drafted, I think Vince McMahon would bury the guy. That's just my opinion, but maybe no way Jose could get himself over with the fans on the main roster organically, like the New Day got over. I mean, the New Day was not cheered when they first got together. They were making a lot of jokes. They were having fun, joking around, doing crazy promos, and then they eventually got very over with the fans. I mean, I was a fan of the New Day before. They are really cheered. I was a fan of theirs. So, maybe no way Jose could get himself over like the New Day did. But uh, Vince McMahon... This is just in my head. Vince McMahon would probably be laughing when he sees No Way Jose on the main roster. He'll probably laugh at the guy backstage, laugh at him, and think he's just a joke. He's a comedy act. That's just my opinion. I don't think Vince would push No Way Jose. He'd probably laugh at the guy, but not to his face. Maybe he would laugh at him to his face. I don't know. But Vince... The guy treats his talent great, pays him a lot, a lot of money. So, no way Jose take on Angelo Dawkins. Pretty good, decent match. No way Jose surprisingly gets a victory. I didn't know if he's going to really win, but good for no way Jose. He gets a victory over Angelo Dawkins. Up next, we had an interview backstage with a Drande, whatever the fuck his name is, I don't care. Um, Adrande gets interviewed, nobody cared, then Austin Aries showed up, that was entertaining, Austin Aries got on the mic and said, you lost, Adrande, you lost that takeover, I won, why am, why am I not being highlighted on NXT, why don't I have a match tonight, why are you getting interviewed and the greatest man that ever lived is not getting interviewed, I don't know why, Aries, in my opinion, the guy's a thousand times better than Adrande. Adrande, you can go away and leave NXT because nobody cares about you or your character, or whatever your character is. So, pretty entertaining. It was a good thing that Austin Aries interrupted Adrande's interview. And if I'm not saying his name right, Adrande, Adrane, I don't care if I'm not saying it right. Austin Aries, damn entertaining. The other guy that was there in his interview, not entertaining. He's a good wrestler, but the guy's not entertaining. He has zero, zero charisma, zero personality. Up next, the women's action. It was about time we got a women's match. It was pretty late in the show. Liv Morgan comes out with her crazy theme music. I love her theme music. It's pretty awesome. Liv Morgan comes out, and she's all hyped up. She's always hyped up, dancing around the ring, jumping on the ropes when she gets in the ring. Liv Morgan taking on Aaliyah. Aaliyah has a pretty great look. She's pretty damn attractive. Aaliyah was highlighted on... The WWE Network series Breaking Ground. Aaliyah's got much better from what I saw of her last year on Breaking Ground. Aaliyah's really improved. Her look is better than it was last year. She's improved a lot. I don't think she'll ever really be pushed to being NXT champion. I don't know if Liv Morgan will also ever be pushed to be NXT Women's Champion. But... Anyways, good, decent women's match. It wasn't good or great. It was decent. 
I like Liv Morgan. I like Aaliyah, but uh, I don't see Aaliyah really ever getting pushed to be a women's champion. Liv Morgan, I don't know if she could ever be a women's champion. Doesn't really matter. She's pretty over with the NXT crowd. Liv Morgan wins. Uh, neither of these women would challenge Asuka. Neither of them could beat Asuka. In my opinion, Aaliyah and Liv Morgan are not ready to challenge Asuka for the women's title. Asuka would destroy them and tap them out within five minutes or within a minute. I don't know who's going to challenge Asuka. Uh, everybody on the women's roster right now, I don't see anybody defeating Asuka for the women's title. She'll probably hold it into 2017. Up um, next, we have a No Way Jose promo backstage. He was excited. He was happy because he got the victory earlier over Angelo Dawkins. Bobby Roode comes in the interview, interrupts, stares at No Way Jose like, you look nuts. Who the hell are you? And Roode just stares at him, says something about his head or nice head of hair or something like that. And then Bobby Roode shows up for like 10, 20 seconds. And just leaves. It was pretty glorious. It was awesome. Great to see Bobby Roode. Now, the final segment of NXT was the new NXT champion. Shinsuke Nakamura, the new champion. We all know, for everybody that saw it, for everybody that follows NXT, for everybody that has a network, we all know Nakamura defeated Samoa Joe. At NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2. Nakamura, the new NXT champion. It was fucking awesome. The match was great. And uh, Nakamura is the new champion. He comes out. Has an epic entrance as always. Gets on the mic. Tries to talk. The crowd is chanting. Doing a lot of chants. The crowd is very loud. Doing Nakamura chants. Nakamura. And then they start chanting, you deserve it, you deserve it. Yes, Nakamura definitely deserves to be a champion in the NXT and WWE. Just like they're chanting Monday night at Kevin Owens, you deserve it, you deserve it. That was awesome, great way to end Monday Night Raw. Nakamura closes NXT, talks a little bit about Samoa Joe, talks about facing Finn Balor, talks about, I believe, facing Sami Zayn. Nakamura is a new NXT champion. It was a good promo from him. It was a little bit hard to understand them, but his English isn't that bad. Asuka is uh, much harder to understand, in my opinion, than Nakamura. It's great that Nakamura is the NXT champion. It's great for NXT that they got a uh, that they got a top star as their champion that won't be going to the main roster. Samoa Joe still NXT, Aries, Rude, and Nakamura are all NXT. That's top four top guys right there. Um, Joe did not appear. Samoa Joe did not appear tonight, but I guarantee you, I'm not going to give a spoiler here, but I guarantee you Samoa Joe will be back soon. He will be back soon on an episode of NXT TV. He will appear soon, and when he appears, something's going to go down big. So, good episode of NXT. It wasn't great, but it was a good episode. I was entertained by it. It wasn't boring, and it was good. So, hope you enjoyed my NXT, t NXT TV review. Almost said takeover review. It was NXT TV review. For Wednesday night, Cruiserweight Classic is still on. Hopefully you can hear it. Great, great commentary, as always, from Mauro Ronaldo and uh, Daniel Bryan. They work great together. They call the Cruiserweight Classic matches. They call them very good. Hope you enjoyed my NXT TV review. Follow me on Twitter, at TNA WWE Guy. Crowd is going insane because... This match is pretty damn insane and very good. On the Cruiserweight Classic, the opening match after NXT. So, if 
follow me on Twitter at TNA WWE Guy and at NXT WWE Guy. Also, subscribe to my YouTube, like my videos, comment on my videos, watch my old videos, watch my all my playlists. Bye for now, everybody.